If you do a search for VPN providers, ProtonVPN and Moved VPN are typically the top recommended providers. In this video, I'm going to go through each app and share with you why I personally choose one over the other. So let's dive into ProtonVPN. Here you can see that there are a whole bunch of countries to choose from. And within each country, if we open up United States, there are a whole bunch of servers that you can choose from. I am a paid member. You can see that I have access to all of the servers. You can view locations using the map feature. So if you wanted to connect to a VPN in Africa, you, you could just click on Africa and connect to a VPN there. You also have the secure core function here. I won't go into detail, but it bounces your traffic through two VPN servers. And in this tab, you have profiles where you can create new profiles based on a certain set of criteria. So if I wanted to create a profile called test and I would want to connect to Australia using a specific server, let's say number 17 using IKE V2 and save that. Now you can see this test profile. And when I hit the connect button, you can see that I connect directly to that server number 17 using the IKE V2 protocol. Proton VPN also has a bunch of settings for you to tweak. So if you go to the settings menu, I'm not going to go through everything, but as you can see here, there are a lot of options that you can change. For example, I have my protocol on WireGuard, but you can change it so that your default protocol goes to any one of these choices. You can also utilize NetShield where you can block malware only, or you can choose to block malware tracking and ads. I typically turn this off because I'm a next DNS user and I personally like to do all of my blocking through next DNS. So I leave that off. And one of the big features for me is split tunneling. So if you look in the excluded app section, I have ally and Tesla in this list. This is because ally and Tesla do not allow users to log in who are connected to a VPN. So they block all VPN users. So as you can see, Proton VPN is very customizable. Let's move on to Movad VPN. Now Movad VPN, you have a whole bunch of options as far as countries go. Within each country, similar to Proton VPN, you can choose the city. You can even expand the city to choose a specific server within the city. Let's go back. Right on the home screen, the difference you can see here is that it's a very simplistic view. Here you just have two buttons. Where do you want to connect to? And the green button, once you click that, you will connect to the VPN. Now that translates into the settings options as well. Let's start with account. This menu shows your account number when your current subscription expires and gives you the option to buy more credit, redeem a voucher or log out. In the preferences section, you can choose to have the VPN auto connect and you can enable local network sharing. And finally, in the advanced section, you can change your MTU. You can regenerate your wired guard key and you can enable split tunneling. But that's about it. There's no malware or tracker blocking options. You cannot change your protocol. So with Movad, you can only use WireGuard. So that might be a deal breaker for some. And overall, there's just less customizability. For example, you don't have the option to create a profile for different use cases. So at this point, let's do some speed tests. I'm going to disable VPN and we're going to go to Vanadium and we're going to load up speedtest.net. Let's run this a few times just to get a baseline. Now let's enable Proton VPN. And let's run the speed tests for Proton. Let's disconnect Proton. And let's enable Moved VPN. So as you can see, both VPNs on Graphene OS work just fine. However, as mentioned earlier, there's one reason why I choose one over the other. And for me, I choose Proton VPN because it works nicely with Next DNS. When I enable private DNS to use Next DNS as my DNS provider and I connect to VPN with Proton VPN, you can see up at the top there's a warning just for a split second that DNS could not connect, but then it connects. 
if we go back to our networks page in the private DNS, you can see that we're connected just fine. However, if we disconnect from ProtonVPN and we connect with Movad VPN, we get this private DNS server cannot be accessed, which was a similar error we got with Proton VPN. However, in this case, this error still persists, as you can see here. And also, if we go to network and internet again, you can see that a private DNS can't connect. If I try to go to a page, yahoo.com, it doesn't go because I have no internet. So because I'm a Next DNS user, Proton VPN works very nicely when using Next DNS in the private DNS settings. And interestingly, when using Movad VPN, it just doesn't seem to connect to my private DNS. So for me, that is a deal breaker. In summary, if you want a VPN that's very simplistic, you only have the option to use WireGuard, you're not gonna mess around with settings, you just want a quick way to connect to VPN, you're not gonna use Next DNS on your Graphene OS device, Movad VPN is great. If you want more control, over your settings, if you want to be able to choose your protocol, not just use WireGuard, but also use OpenVPN protocols, IKE v2. If you want to use NextDNS on your Graphene OS device, I would suggest using Proton VPN. Hopefully this video helps, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.